Hello, I'm Professor James, and you are taking Fashion Illustration class. This class is a first semester class, and it assumes you already know how to draw and you draw all the time. If you don't draw very much or you have not drawn for a long time, I highly recommend right now to start searching on YouTube for how to draw videos as well as how to shade just beginner videos and start drawing now and get ready for this class. Um, we're going to learn to do faces and hands right away and then we're going to move into doing the full body for your croquis figure. And then once we have that all established, you're going to have your own original croquis for the rest of the semester. And then we're going to move into drawing clothes on top of that, as well as full color rendering with uh, markers, uh, color pencils, um, ink, and different other materials you'll see as we go. And so it gets busy really quick. Um, also, towards the end of this class, what's going to happen is, is we're going to design a collection as if though you're designing for a fashion show. And a lot of the students in the past, whatever they did in my illustration class, would become their collection for the actual show here at Palomar College. As well, this is going to be part of your whole portfolio. So then when you transfer on to get your bachelor's degree in another college, or if you want to start looking for a job interview, this is what you're going to take with you. So be prepared. It's a lot of work, and, but it's really fun, and I think you'll especially enjoy the research part because you're basically starting to build your own brand, your target consumer, and all of that. And um, it's fun. This is definitely my favorite class to teach. For me, my experience has been I originally was just cutting and sewing dress shirts and dress shorts for myself. And then eventually I started making clothes for a girlfriend of mine. And then eventually I started making clothes for clients and I moved into doing like some wedding dresses, prom dresses, special occasion. And I had met Connie Crawford who, she writes the textbooks for sewing, draping, and pattern making that they use at FIT and FIDM as well as here at Palomar College. And I became an intern with her because I really wanted to learn more advanced level of draping and custom making and custom fitting and when I was working with her um, she noticed some of my artwork and at the same time she was working on a new revision to her textbook so this was back in 2003 and this is her pattern making textbook so she went ahead and let me design the cover for her textbook so this is my artwork from an actual dress that I made for a client and then after this, about a year and a half later, I went on to school in, at FIT in New York City. And then when I was there, of course, the pattern making textbook was the recommended textbook for the class. And then I had showed the teacher, I'm like, hey, I'm the one who designed the cover for this. So I always thought that was really cool that that happened and I had a great experience there. And I highly recommend to go to FIT in New York City to get your bachelor's degree. So for this introduction, I'm going to show you guys some artwork that I've done professionally working in the field, as well as some stuff that I've done freelance projects, as well as stuff from when I graduated from school, my graduating portfolio. And then I'm going to show you some artwork that you guys will be doing in class. So it's just hand artwork that I've done during my demonstrations. So here I just want to show you some of the textbooks that I've worked on. Um, as part of my fashion illustration experience. Um, you'll see this is the book that I was talking about where I had designed this dress for a client of mine and she let me do the cover of it. And the next edition of her pattern making book, again, she let me design it. And this whole illustration here is done in Photoshop and then the layout for the book itself I did in Illustrator. And then this textbook here she had already already had the uh, cover designed, but what she did is inside the book, she needed all new fashion illustrations as well as updates to all of the technical illustrations inside of here. So this is her uh, fifth edition of her sewing textbook, and all of the cover, like uh, chapter covers and stuff, is um, drawings that I did, and these are all drawings finished in Illustrator. 
so you can see when you get to each chapter, there's the new drawing. And then inside of here, we went ahead and we refreshed all of the older drawings, as well as coming in and coloring. So for this book, she was able to use blue as a second color to black and white. And then we went and refreshed all these different drawings inside of the book. So this is some, some stuff that I got to do after I'd finished school at New York City. As well, I did some drawings for patterns for Butterick, so you can find these in the fabric stores. These have been around for a while, I would say getting close to 10 years now, so they might be kind of hard to find. But there was this series, it was these plus another three other ones. And um, so I designed the, the actual garments as well as did the drawings. And then Connie did the original like draping and everything. And then everything gets submitted to Butterick for them to go into production. And this is the book that I had when I was in school in New York. So you'll see I did a lot of um, research and then I would be sticking stuff in here. So at the time we were just using lots of tear outs from magazines. So this would be like my target consumer for a project that I was working on, different color schemes as well as garments. Um, and then moving into when I found some information about some some prints and stuff, or any kind of research on target points, target price points. And then you'll see here I started putting in all of my thumbnails. So this is all of my sketches from a project that I did for my final portfolio. And it's all stuff that I've kept here inside of my book. And you can see I'm drawing a lot in pencil. And then once I like something, I would ink it in. So I'll remember that that's what I want to use for my final collection. And here I was just practicing rendering in color, you know, just deciding on my color blocking per garment. And then this was for spring, summer, and then this is moving into a fall, winter collection. So you're going to want to have something like this just for sketching in. Sometimes also I'll have like a photo that I'm looking at with some unusual pose, and then I'll practice drawing that. So here's my graduation portfolio from FIT. Basically, my target consumer was, she used to shop at Forever 21, Charlotte Russe, um, Hot Topic, and now she's moving into buying stuff from like Guess, DKNY. And this was taking the diesel consumer, so diesel denim, and having a little bit more of an active consumer, so a little bit pushing into the action sports industry. So what I was doing is I was designing swimwear as well as cover-ups for her. So this is the first collection where it goes from bikinis to one pieces all the way through swim trunks. And then a little bit of cover-ups that would go on top of the swimwear. And then if the same girl wanted to go out for lunch or breakfast or for dinner, and then she was going to wear something nicer around town. And all of these are the original drawings, so this is all on one page together and this is the original pencils as well as marker drawings inside of there and then the same target consumer now it's winter so she's going to go snowboarding and skiing she's going to hang out with the boys and go shoot pool so this is starting with a base layer moving all the way through to ski wear and then moving into a couple snowboard outfits so here's the full renderings of those and then again, the same girl after hours, she wants to go out, shoot some pool. She wants to go out for drinks. And so she's going to need lots of warm wear. At the time, when I was in school in New York, it was really trendy for girls to wear like a hoodie underneath a blazer. And then, of course, since this is for diesel and they're famous for their um, jeans, I have lots of denim, some canvas skirts, tons of knitwear, and then a couple big puffy jackets. In this class, you're going to learn to do faces and hands, and we're going to learn to just do some very simple, basic faces, which will help you start moving along quickly to get into designing clothes. Um, for the hands, what I'll do is I'm going to do a whole series 
of videos, probably two or three videos on how to just do some basic hand gestures and some formulas that you can use so they're super accurate and in the correct proportion every time. Uh, for the faces series, this is what we're going to work on first, learning to draw faces. And as we go through it, you'll learn to specifically draw eyes as well as nose and mouth. And you'll see when we go through, we're going to analyze two different faces. We're going to put them together on top of each other. And then we're going to find out what is the basics of everybody's face and break it down a little bit more mathematically. So then you can start to draw your own face. So we'll go through a demo where it's similar to this. And then you're going to end up with something like that. Eventually, you're going to learn to develop your own croquis in this class. And as a matter of fact, these are the original croquis that I'll be using for the class demos. And you'll see when you have your copy paper that it's really easy to see through. So after you have your croquis, you can come in here and start drawing clothes right on top of this. So anyways, eventually we're going to work on having a walking pose as well as a standing pose and a back pose. These three poses here will be perfect for all of your designs as a first semester student. Um, if this class was moving into a second and third semester, then I would start teaching you a true three-quarter view pose as well as doing a side view pose. So this just gives you an idea of some of the demos that I've done in the past. And then we're going to start moving into rendering, which means you start adding colors and shading. So you're going to learn to render like flesh tones, swimwear, faces. Here's a demo we were doing where we were talking about just hair in general. And then we'll start to learn to do some color renderings. And we're going to do a project together where we're all going to draw a white dress shirt, jeans, a wool jacket, a sparkly dress, as well as swimwear. And you'll see when we get to that later. And then towards the end of the semester, what you're going to want is a 11 by 14 portfolio binder. So basically, this is this has got the clear pages inside of here. And then it's got one black piece of paper in between the two pages. And then this is all laminated together into your binder. This is what you're going to want towards the uh, middle of the semester because we're going to start taking our projects. Like, for instance, here's the white shirt and denim. And we're going to put together a little storyboard where you're going to have actual fabric swatches on here as well as the Pantone chips and then some kind of a cool background to go with your final illustrations. So like I said before, we'll end up doing a swimsuit, denim, white dress shirt, wool jacket with glossy boots. This semester what I'll do is I'll teach you how to do the black glossy boots boots, because a lot of people ask how do you do black. And then we're going to do a sparkly dress which has some sheer layers. And this way you'll learn to do sparkles, sheer, and silk all in one. And down here I have silver shoes on here, so you could also learn how to do silver. Eventually, we're going to turn this whole thing into where you'll have designs one, two, and three from your own original collections. We're also going to do a um, target consumer write-up where you will write up as if though you are your own brand or a brand new company designing a collection. So it's part of it's the target consumer, part of it's about the collection. And then one other thing that I'll be showing you guys during the semester is how to do floats. So at first, when you're designing, you don't necessarily need to draw faces and hands and shoes and all the stuff. You just need the garments. So for instance, here's three different tops that will go with a collection. Here would be, you know, a couple different pairs of pants. Here's four variations of dresses, four other variations. So you'll see as we go through, you're going to learn to do floats to get ready to do your full renderings, which um, are a lot more work here towards the end.
Each one of these will take you anywhere from two to four hours to do something like this. Since this semester we are locked down from COVID-19 and we're not allowed to meet face to face, all of my demos are going to be done on video. And what you're going to find is I'm going to do these series of videos and I'll keep them to about half an hour each. If I need more than half an hour, I'll do a part one and part two. And most of the videos is just going to be my hands drawing and me talking. And also I'll leave little spaces so then you'll know when you can kind of hit pause and do it and then hit play again and keep moving along with the demo. Um, included in this class there's going to be a lot of files that you'll need to print because those files are like little worksheets and then you can go and do your practicing on them as well. And um, so you'll see all of this when you go through your Canvas assignments as well as I'll always mention at the beginning of each video the tools you'll need and the handout that you're going to need. I hope you enjoy this class and I look forward to seeing you and meeting with you guys online and um, seeing your progress as we go.